Okay guys, this is a continuation from my first tutorial because you know my uh, the, the trial software that I have it basically run out after 10, 10 minutes so I have, have to you know start the second iteration. Anyway I was explaining to you this one so basically this code is saying hey find the assembly where this program is located where, where, where this classical program is located basically trying to find this particular assembly. From here it, it start you know uh, it start grabbing all the all the files that needs to be mapped for example all our you know address map or address class uh, this is a little misnomer I mean to write a customer for some reason I don't know why it is it thinks it's a customer map why right? because my class is that and I want this to be that not that and of course we go ahead and change it here I don't know what's the, why I'm thinking address versus customer customer <coughs> okay let me go ahead and make sure it builds okay all right this build is okay now I have my helper and hibernate helper and the most important thing we, we are using is schema export object this this base this obviously allows us to create the, the schema in the back end database that's why we are using that one and the create this is a important method right here um, this when you pass true it basically create a script in the back end run the schema creation script so it does all those things in the SQL server okay so that is all we have to do now of course let's go ahead and create a well now go ahead and modify our configuration file remember like we're gonna use um, um, so basically you're gonna come in here here's my connection to string node uh, element in my and then I'm gonna add so basically I'm gonna add a name of the connection string and the val and the connection string is the value that so of course the key is uh, key would be this is a connection string key or whatever name you like you know it doesn't really have to be the same that name and then then here of course you know like uh, you need a connection string um usually i use this website that give me all the connection string information and i change it because remember i'm running from my local host now i have to use my sql servers my sql server database SQL Server is that name. That's my SQL Server. And then I need to tell a database that I want to create this guy on. This is PFNH. PFNH. Okay, just to make sure, you know, I'm not bluffing that this is working. Uh, there is a database right here. called pfnh okay I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this one and it just have one table called address I don't need that one I'm gonna go ahead and delete this guy here okay all right that is that now if everything is good now I'm gonna go into my program right here and I'm just gonna try to use I'm gonna use a using construct bar uh, I session whatever and I want to say in hibernate helper guy I wanna oh, I did something wrong didn't I so um, this is <laughs> it's a private that's why I'm gonna make it public so that I, you know outside world can consume it so in hibernate helper boom 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 create system factory Okay, just by doing that, it should be able to create um. It should be able to create a database for us. Okay, let's go ahead and build it, and if everything is good, we should have our customer created in the backend database. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you can see in here, but something you got a. You know, exception, blah blah blah, something. Error. Weird. 
doing some invalid configuration was created. Oh, okay. It didn't like our configuration. So, what's invalid? Database is good. Okay, this one is good. Maybe the, it's not happy with the mapping. Let's see. Okay, here is a customer map. Okay, and ha! Huh, you know what happened? Because you know, that's my bad. Because you know, Visual the in Hibernate or a fluent in Hibernate, they want their property to be virtual. Be, they want it to be virtual because the property they could be overridden. They could be like you know, uh, intercepted by by um, in Hibernate using proxy behind the scene. You know, so that's why I was complaining about. Hey, you have properties. But they are not virtual. I don't know what to do with it. That's why I was complaining about it. Now I should be good. Yeah, like I said, let's see. It created our database or not. Boom, boom, boom. Go ahead and refresh. It's here our table customer. You know, like I said, you know, right now we haven't used all it's all the configuration that you know Fluent and Hibernate provides. Right now we just you know it, it, it we allowed it to use a default convention. So the default convention is like you know it, it, it's a for, remember like it, it's for the first name is the data type is string it's using n bar char at 255 character that's their default so and all by default all the fields are all that you know columns are null of course you know like if that's the only thing it can do that wouldn't be that useful right so in the next uh, so that's the next thing we're gonna talk we're gonna talk about in this tutorial. So um, let's say you know instead of having first name because always when in you let's say you know you you have your application you always want to know with your customer first name or last name so you want if you want to make this not null there is a there is a uh, property called not and nullable is the method that's it this is all you have to do let's say now if I run it again this time it's gonna basically drop the existing table and, and recreate the new table with that rebuild solution see you can even see it here let me what I'm going to do is I'm going to say console dot so it wait for us to oh not here sorry for that uh, I mean to in here it's just gonna wait here and so the read line it's just so that we can see you know our changes so if we can go ahead and refresh that one so if you look at the column now see it is not nullable column that's good we can do the exact same thing for the last name right um customer map and for the last name we can say it's not boom it's a nullable that's it and then of course you know middle name is okay usually some people have middle name and some people do not have middle name we just want to make it to be nullable and, and by default it is nullable so that's we can leave the way it is let's go ahead and build it but you might be asking why you have to do all this thing you can go ahead and write your own table yeah of course but you know like um it's just a new 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 tool that you can use you know what i mean like maybe uh so it does something like okay if it exists go ahead and drop the table and then create a new table id is integer identity not no last num see it's here so we can verify that information going into our sql server and then repressing it okay not bad right but a little bit of code you know not much to learn because it's really cool okay I hope um, this is gonna be a basic tutorial in my in my second tutorial what I would be doing is you know I will show you how to have relation how to have re a reference or integrity from the domain you know let's say I create a table that has a foreign key to the other table and all those kind of good stuff and well right away for example something that I don't like 
I want to say for some reason I don't want my first name to be in bar char. I just like to have a, as a bar char. There's a couple of way of doing it. Uh, 